Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this second round of the Night Pendant Cup. Tonight's competitors, we got tonight Charging Charles and Pink Panther. I am up here in the commentary booth. My name is Fly Eagles Fly. I am also up here with the Tax Slug. How you doing tonight, Attack Slug? Hey, Eagles. I am very excited about this race. Um, and uh, with that introduction, let's go ahead and get this going. What do you say? Yeah, let's get this uh, right, Battle Royale started. Let's do it. Three, two, one. And there it goes. We'll see our racer start off in about... 10 seconds. Now, <clears throat> very exciting race. Uh, Charles, our reigning tourney leader from the, or tourney champion from the um, first tournament of the PK Scramble. And Pink Panther coming in as a new contender, but puts in a lot of work and a lot of effort. Um, Really, really great runner. Looks like Panther is... Um, are we having a false start here? Oh, he's ha he has major lag. Okay, so we have some bad lag going on here. Panther does struggle with his internet. <laughs> um, but the kids Looking have like started out starting in three. In three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we get to see a character check at first. Yes. And Come, the... on, Flyer Man. Come on, Flyer Man. Come on, Flyer Man. I just want to see Flyer Man. <laughs> Flying Man early is a great get, honestly. He's going to carry you through so much. Um, and this flag set is the random enemy movement and also 10 loose items, as well as the NPC Cup flag set, which is um, Doc Saturn plus PSI Extended. All right, so we got our favorite kid, Jeff, down here by the UFO. Mm -hmm. I did not see what item did he have. I don't know. If, did Charles check? We'll see if Panther checks. Hmm. Charging Charles using the teleport to avoid the police. <laughs> And it looks He's like got a the police piece. badge. We have Onet, Threed, and Summers. I would probably go to Summers for that teleport check. Starting out just to open things up as much as possible. You also got the police badge with Onet too, so you can get uh, two teleports there too. And a key item, exactly. We have going on right now in chat with your channel points. Go ahead and predict who the winner will be. Either Pink Panther or Charging Charles. I don't have any channel points left. My predictions have been terrible recently. <laughs> yeah, I, someone oh. I was up in the booth last time uh, used their channel points on someone that should be nameless. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, and Charles just m maiming my people on screen there. We'll see. We're going to see Panther going to Onet first. So we're going to see what lies there. Charles is going to be picking up that Summer's Teleport. So very two different routes everybody's mm -hmm. taking. Uh, Panther's going the Onet way because he's got the police badge to check out to see who the Frank fight is. See if he can get another key item there. And uh, unlock going the police barricades to go to uh, see Buzz Buzz and um, the Meteorite. Yeah, as well as Liar Exaggerate, and then I'll also unlock Tucson for them as well. And we're going to see who, what Charles gets over here. You know, something we haven't seen in the Doc Saturn Seeds um, that I've noticed so far... Well, the first thing I've noticed is that it is, like, almost always poo in DeLom. Like, it's, like almost always poo and I was wondering if Charles was hoping for Saturn Valley and that's what he did get but what I was going to say is that we haven't seen um, one of the, t the PK checks giving um, the, that that uh, that PSI slot that Who has oh it looks like Panther's going to take a death oh, to here yeah. looking like the Frank fight is very high Yeah, so they, depending on 
where you go, sometimes you get to the, you take the one way and you hit uh, like a high level enemies all around. But the battles he was having before the nightmare were like hippies and um, yeah, but prank we, old men. We've also seen that nightmare that's very early still scaled like insanely high. So sometimes you just don't know with the nightmare, you know? Yeah, <laughs> sometimes he's easy, sometimes he's hard. In that case, he was like one one shot killer to Ness and Jeff. See Charge and Charles checking the stores. Yeah, um, not always a common Charles trope. He usually does not do a lot of shopping. Yeah, we haven't seen a sanctuary open yet. So we haven't gotten a key item for a sanctuary yet. No, oh, we don't. We underworld. Don't we got we got underworld. Oh, okay. So first we teleport thing. To underworld, so we got the first sanctuary. Um, Just seeing it when he was tell when Charging Charles was teleporting. Yeah, and something that is pretty, you know, a pretty common thing for racers to do is to not check the boogie tent right away, even if you do get Jeff, because it can be scaled rather high. Um, and you're just almost going to be an automatic death. Yeah, that was a mistake I made last night in my race. Um, <laughs> Jeff was Jeff was the kid in three, and I did not go and check Boogie Tent till later on in the game, and Boogie Tent was easy to fight. Yeah, it can be. I mean, it can be hit or miss, but I would definitely take ooh, a few. Ooh. Hot dog. <laughs> and it is, a, it is a hot dog. I would definitely like, take a few fights before I went to do Boogie Tent. Hey, Sarah. Good to see ya. Ooh, and he's got this shield. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. Let's see if, let's see if uh, Charging Charles can get through. Oh. He's got a bottle rocket. Oh, he's got... Well, that's gonna do... I don't know. We'll see. Oh, this is this is risky. This is a risky move. <gasps> it's a shield of light! Oh, my God. All right, and we're seeing Panther over here going to grab the, um, the library item. And down goes yes, Hot Dog! see you later, doggo! So we're gonna that see dog what Charles is always, That dog is always a troublesome person for everybody. <laughs> He's not a very nice dog. Not my Let's favorite dog. Let's the zombie trash can, see what's in the zombie trash can. Could it be a vanilla jar of fly honey? <laughs> it's UFO, UFO engine! Boo! <laughs> boo! Not what you want to see. Nope, since you already had Summers. <laughs> yep. That's the thing. Loose key items like you have in uh, the trash cans. Like, Boogie Tent is a key item, but mm -hmm. when you open up uh, treasures, you could get another UFO engine. So, you could have two UFO engines. Now, I've seen where you've gotten um, two diamonds or two wad of bills and you go save the Runaway 5 and you can do the cutscene two times in a row. And it's just so hilarious just to see it. Wait, you can? That's a thing? Yeah. So if you have two water bills and you go and turn it in the first time, you could go ahead and turn it in again and see what happens. Really? And is that yeah, a mechanic Jay that Jay Tolmar added in? I don't know. I think it was uh, just like the one night uh, me and Panther were playing. He's like, oh, I got two water bills. Let me see if it works. And he just goes and does it again. And he's laughing the whole time because the cutscene, they just left and then they came back in again. <laughs> I've never, oh, I guess I've just never tried that. And it looks like we have a Frankie Stein in the police station. And Panther that... going for that boogie tent, which he is unaware that it is a useless item, but gonna see dog and probably say, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some mad ducks. Easy fights. Yeah. So looking like the cop fight's gonna be real easy. Yeah, and way to go. Officer Strong will be easy. Yeah, because that Frankenstein, um, Mark Jr. too, whatever his name is, he um, lets off a puff of steam every other round. Because it's one of the first enemies that you, you know, one of the first bosses that you fight in the vanilla game. All dogs are, all dogs are beautiful. Defund the dogs. Hi, Guilo. <laughs> Hi, Slim Facts. Hello, everyone. Welcome, man. 
I don't know. Diamond oh. Dog is not being nice to uh, oh, Panther no. right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like Panther's going to take a death to Dog. Well, it's honestly for the best. He just doesn't know that yet. And Charles has relinquished the Frankenstein Mark Jr. too. So which way is he going to go? Is he going to go down south to get the mice? Or is he going to go up north to take a look? I'm saying north. I would go north personally. What's up, Mad Cat? But he's probably going to go get mice first. And that is exactly what he has done. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a wonderful evening on this fine summer Tuesday. It is yes, the summer solstice. Day. Yes, the summer solstice today. And the start of cancer season. We got any cancers in chat? Rise up. All right, and Panther. All right. Oh, I was just curious to see if uh, Charles was going to uh, teleport back to on that. But it looks like he's probably going straight to Apple Kid to see what Apple Kid's got. Okay, okay. Hmm, interesting. Maybe he's thinking, well, I have plenty of teleports. If I can find key items, I can get the sanctuaries from these, you know? Always check the trash can at Apple Kids' house. You never know. You could have trash food in the trash can. <laughs> yeah, it's often the case. But today he gets a banana. Now, the neat thing with it, even in vanilla and in uh, PK Scramble, you can give Apple Kid anything. Sugar packets, uh, salt packet. Cold like any remedy. food item. Yeah. <laughs> a vital capsule. Ooh. I think Panther's going back for that tent fight. Or maybe he he's going the... to buy bottle rockets. Apple Kid had the tender crowd, so oh. we're going to get another teleport oh. check here. Going underground. Alrighty. I wonder if Charles is going to take the sink here. And Panther's nope. stocking up on bottle rockets. Knowing Charles, he usually tries to get all the key items for the saint so he can just knock them all out together. Yeah. I've noticed that from his playing in the two versus two and mm -hmm. seeing him play the first round. He likes to go and like, try to get all the key items for yeah. the sanctuary before is, doing them. And that isn't a unknown strat. Okay, Panther's going to do the police. Good, good. I'm thinking Panther's going to go north. Um, and that's not an unknown strat for uh, scramble racers to do, is to line up all your sanks and then knock them out. Personally, I if this is short sank, I'm going to do it. Yeah, see me, I, lo I love going after all, all the saints. Once I got something, I love going first there right away and just knock it out so I know, okay, I knocked this key item out, got that sink done. But like everybody <laughs> plays it differently, so. And there's a discussion in chat about the, um, maybe the, the mental health of Apple Kid? Uh, doesn't want to live with those life noodles. But he's a kid genius, so I mean, I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure. Oh, we got the Wada Bills. Useless item since we already have access to three. Second useless item. Love it. The life of a kid genius hurts, man. Yeah, he might as well have been a kid actor, you know. And as you notice, Charles is teleported when he's near an enemy, mm -hmm. so that way he doesn't get into a battle, which that is great technique and uh, yeah. using so you can avoid a lot of these battles. Uh, if you just quickly go into teleport and uh, it speeds you up, runs right past, keeps everything frozen, but watch out for those hidden butterflies. You do crash <laughs> yeah. into them sometimes. And, uh, and don't actually, you know, teleport away because that's going to... Oh, and it bit him in the butt. He's taking a fight. I think it'll be fine. He's probably just doesn't want to take fights to waste time. <laughs> and it's just some cranky old lady with her handbag. It's a whole salt packet. So, fun fact, uh, the mother two name for the cranky old lady is Nag Lady. Nag, N-A-G. Wow. And for the extra cranky lady is Nag Nag Lady. Is it true? So listen. 
So as you see, the enemy movement is all different. You never see these little mobile sprouts move like that. They have the effect of the UFOs moving like mm -hmm. side to side and flying in the air. Yeah, and that's that random um, enemy movement flags that we have put on. And Panther taking care of that nightmare. Charles getting a meteorite piece. That's his second meteorite piece, I think. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and Shroom goes down without a fight. We're going to see what Panther is going to pick up from the arcade. And Charles is heading to Liar's Dungeon. Carrot Key. Do we have Delom? I don't think we have Delom. No, I don't think we do. Because mm -mm. we got Jeff from Three. That's right. Could be Delom here. Tucson. Ugh. Oof. <laughs> Jeez, so Not Northern like Onet was literally just <laughs> completely useless. Waste of time. Was there anything in Northern Onet oh, yeah, that was good for us? He does have Delam. Oh, they do? Okay. He, he must have gotten it uh, from Underground. from uh, The Tendacrot, tenda tenda yeah. And where did we find that Tendacrot? Oh, Buzz Buzz. Mad Cat said Buzz Buzz was uh, Delam. Okay, okay. So one, one, one useful thing. Yes, Temple, I know. What do I matter anyway? My favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Ooh, we got the jar of fly, honey. Okay. There's another sanctuary. Alrighty. Could be risky, but what's her phone without a little risk? Yeah, you always got to take the risk. So we got the carrot key. We got underground. We got the uh, jar of fly honey. Uh -huh. That's three sanctuaries. The uh, the guardian digger, uh, the mother two name is Hole Master. <laughs> that just makes me laugh. I can't help it. <laughs> the fun part is, is like you notice out, out in, like, where the games come from in Japan, they have different names. And when it comes to us, which they call the West, they change everything up. Mm -hmm. Like, they literally well, like all changed. the different names. Some are exactly the same. Like, a good amount are exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's just funny to see. Like, no, it's, how a, it's absolutely funny. Like, Ness, when he goes to Magic Camp in the Japan version, Mother 2, he is naked. But, of course, when it came to us in the West, they had to put pajamas on them. Gotta put pajamas on him. We're afraid kids will think it's odd. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Wouldn't have you thought it was odd, you know? And, like, the four I was in the fourth grade when I first started playing Earthbound. I would have been like, oh, my God, he's naked, you know? I would have just been laughing the whole time. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Being being young, I, I was in like second grade when it came out. Being oh, that okay. young, I would have just been laughing like <laughs> he's naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and another one of Bill's. Uh, this is so wonderful. You know what? I rolled this seed, you guys. It's, it's all my fault. <laughs> and we got Mondo Mole. Mondo Mole. It's because we're old now, Mad Cat. <laughs> Don't rub it in. <laughs> Look, I can't help it. Like, being old, everybody <laughs> starts playing Earthbound, and it's very hopping when it came back out on the Switch, seeing like everybody play it. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. brand new. I'm like, mm -hmm. it was out when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> first rule, yeah. Don't uh, don't let me roll any seeds ever. That's the first rule. Um, second rule is don't let me roll any seeds ever. Um, I think the Earthbound that Earthbound had quite a bit of a revival when it came out on the um, SNES Mini. Yeah, it kind of, it did when it came back out on the SNES Mini. Because I know my brother-in-law, he was like, man, how do you play this game? I was like, I'll show you how to do it. I can beat it in six hours, buddy. Yeah, and it, I mean, it was also on the Wii, um, the Wii game shop. It was also on the 3DS. I have bought Earthbound so many different times because I'm such a fangirl, you know? <laughs> and Charles taking care of that pink cloud, pink panther, maybe doing a little shopping, getting a little money. Charles looking like he's going to go see Everdread to uh, see what key item they have. Yeah, great. And call. it's Captain Strong. That should be pretty easy. Probably looking for a pencil eraser if I had to guess. Yeah, if he gets the pencil eraser, that's the fourth sanctuary for mm -hmm. him and he's all good. Mm -hmm. and we're going to go, go, go. 
go mode. All right, we'll see what this is. Hopefully it's not a third meteorite piece. <laughs> Hawkeye. Hawkeye. All right. Could be a poo pickup and poo could have shyness book. So potential fourth sank. Got a red ribbon for Paula, but he said not today. I'm going to wonder if they're going to call a Scargo Express. Sometimes in the loose key items, you really have to call a Scargo Express. And Charles is going to go take this fight. And he must have picked up a loose carrot key, not knowing that this is a carrot key. Uh, hopefully there should be some good experience on his side. Panther is about to go get his item from Apple Kid. And I would imagine he might take the Everdread fight. Yeah, since he's got Paula, he might take mm -hmm. that to see what it is. It's the Tindakrot, and that's going to give him... I don't know what that's going to give him. <laughs> Here give we him, go. Uh, Dela no, no, no Delama's Delama Buzz Buzz. Uh, buzz Buzz, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kyle? And do we know why um, sometimes the rocket only hits for one HP? Do you understand that? Does anyone understand that? I, th I think it might be due to like some immune system, immune immunity for them. Like how like the bottle rockets Jeff uses in the vanilla version doesn't hit like uh, the robot and like different enemies. Yeah, so. but I know it's speed based, but like what is the base? What is the speed based off of? Your speed isn't changing within a battle. So is it just like, all right, Charles is probably saying, oh, a carrot key. Panther going back for the boogie tent fight. <laughs> Seed is everywhere. Um, but Charles is going to deep darkness to pick up another uh, team member and potentially a key item. All right, Panther, if you do not beat Hot Dog with three kids, come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Everybody's rooting for you. Take out the diamond dog. Pew, pew. Looks like he is gonna take him out. It's good. All right. And what enemies do we see here in Deep Darkness if we see any? Signed Banana. Ooh. That's another sanctuary. If we mm. get four side. Okay. Ness is giving me math equations, and I'm just going to say that... You know what? Sometimes the rocket just hits for one, and I'm going to leave it at that because I don't do math. Sorry. <laughs> so standard bottle rocket y misses with a probability of two S times speed. <laughs> X, Q, help. That's that's all I see. It is Everdread, my homie. So you just got to do an algebraic equation where you try to find your <laughs> X, but I don't want to find my X, okay? And have we seen <laughs> Charles do the meteorite piece over here? I don't know if we have. So we're going to see what meteorite piece is going to give us. And looks like it's Lost Underworld. So maybe we did. That's where he got the Lost Underworld. Oh, fast enemy versus slow user equal poopy damage. Thank you for the uh, layman's terms. <laughs> Rockets go boom. <laughs> Yeah. Also, does everything sound okay, you guys? This is my first time doing a restream, so if you need me to um, change volume or anything, just please let me know just for, you know, uh, editing's uh, sake. Sounded pretty good because I just hit the unmute button on my side and I could hear it real quick. <laughs> it sounds good. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for the feedback. All right, Charles going to that fire spring. Gotta think that Panther is also gonna go to fire spring. These guys might meet up somehow in Magicant. I don't know if Panther. How many help? Uh, how many sinks does Panther have? Do we know? He did not. He does. He didn't do Delam yet. He hasn't gotten. Yeah. He hasn't done the Pink Cloud yet. Charles has got Pink Cloud, and he's going on to Fire Springs. You gotta wonder if Panther's feeling a little bit of pressure, knowing that he's going up against Charles. You know. And Charles is a pretty big contender here in the um, PK Scramble community. Yes, I have actually played him in just an exhibition, and man, he was like quick to knock me out real yeah. quick. He is. Uh... 
speedy player. All, all of a sudden, I knew I was getting the second sanctuary, and all I hear is done. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I'm like, yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> guess I'll still play. <laughs> And as you see, like, for some of you that don't know, the repel sandwiches mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are like the skip sandwiches. But what repel sandwiches do is they um, uh, do not let enemies appear for a certain amount of time. So depending right. on which repel sandwich you have is the certain time limit. So, Leave isn't the yeah, repel, so a regular like, repel seconds. is 10 seconds 10 and seconds. a deluxe is 20. And the reason why... Um, Tomar added repels in is because you're always moving at skip sandwich speed. So having skip sandwiches would be pointless. <laughs> Mad cat. Um, so he added in um, repel sandwiches to add another element of, you know, maybe ease to the game. And recently we have seen some changes with the repel sandwiches, which I personally welcome. Um, I am not the kind of right. If I see him, I'll buy him, but like I'm not seeking him out. You know what I mean? So if I, I the way that I remember, if you do uh, the mixture of food, I usually hit the help button. Like I'll, I remember the price of what a repel sandwich and a repel sandwich DX cost. So I'll like look at the price and I like thirty-eight dollars is repel sandwich, but it could be called like lucky sandwich. I'm just throwing it out there, and I'll hit the help button when I buy one, and then it will tell me in the description what it is. So that kind of gives me the idea when they have the mixture of foods. Oh, are you talking about generate food? Yeah, generate oh, okay. food. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like mixture of foods. I thought you meant like talking um, about using condiments on food. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had no idea where you were going with that. I just let you keep on. And it looks like Charles is heading to Giant Step. I believe this is going to be his fourth sink. Uh, Panther going on down to Pink Cloud. And um, you know, even though we have put on um, some more difficult flag sets for these brackets. We have still seen some incredibly fast races, and I, you love to see it. You really do. I'm just waiting for Snake Tag to appear for once. No, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm going to put my foot down on that one. That's not happening. Maybe maybe the final race. I don't know. That just seems cruel. And also, I'll point this out, and I've said it again. Snake Tag is only fun when you can hear the like the racer playing you know which would just not be okay there would be many many and abundant expletives so i don't think we could do that um but it is a fun tag and if you haven't played scramble yet the website is pkscramble.com definitely check it out um take your time with it when you first start out um tomar has added so much fun and charming text that really captures the feel of earthbound and has done a wonderful job it's definitely worth checking out we are going to be starting a new series which i won't say a lot about but just keep in mind that there is going to be a new series starting so i'll get i'll keep you you know on the edge of your seat about that and we got an Electro Spectre <laughs> yeah. at uh, Giant Step. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, Charging Charles uh, used Thunder. What Thunder does is it destroys the shield that any, any right. uh, enemy has. So now he can use his PSI right on Electro Spectre right. without it reflecting back to him. Right. And you want to use Thunder on enemies that have Psychic Shields. Um, because if you're using your PSI, obviously it's going to reflect back onto you, right? And, and down goes the Electro Spectre. Taking Electro Spectre down. To that, that guy was kind of tough. So. so that's his third sanctuary. Now I think he's just only got to go do Saturn Valley with the Jar of Fly Honey. Oh, so that's his third. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was his fourth. Okay. And we see... I don't... Okay, yes. Panther going to Deep Darkness. They're buying some more bottle rockets. Always nice to have. Ooh, and a silver bracelet. Love it. Ooh, all those spawns. Sheesh. 
That is the one thing I hate about Giant Step is all the spawns when you come out. Like, you got to do a grind, a slug grind <laughs> and, in the vanilla version. And then yeah. when you get done and you defeat the uh, the ant up top, all uh -huh. of a sudden these slugs come out of nowhere. It's oh. like, where were you like three hours ago? Panther <laughs> taking a caterpillar fight could be not cute. Those caterpillars in Scramble are not very nice. In the vanilla game, they run away from you and you almost always get a green swirl and uh, automatic win. Um, not so much in Scramble and they throw fire and they're mean. Also, I think they're called like criminal worms or something. We just call them caterpillars. Green caterpillar, red caterpillar. Don't care about the <laughs> what criminal, what crime they committed. It's They're a master green and red. criminal. It. <laughs> oh, Panther. Oh, dear. Okay. Panther taking all the fights. Um, Charles going for that jar of fly honey. We'll see him go through Belch Base and on to Milky Well. Oh, it's looking like it's going to be tough. It looks like Moonside enemies. Yes, and I would also be using repels. Panther going to chat. Oh, getting an okay pendant. That's a nice get. Charles uh, using his namesake and charging through. Oh, thank of you, course. Nest Rocker. Thank you for the oh. clarification, sir. Of course, Charging Charles always using the same thing he does for his meme, ass. Ass. <laughs> That's uh, a super scrambler, right? Isn't that what they, isn't that what that stands for? <laughs> Astonishing scramble speed. That's, that's what that stands for. Chargal, mercy. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> they are your boys. So I'm Panther sorry, I, tur I turned on streamer mode and my Discord is still booping, so I apologize if you can hear that. It just won't stop booping at me. All right, so Panther's on to Saturn Valley. All right, interesting. Charles showing us a little stuttering, which you don't often see in the scramble, but is a very common tactic used in vanilla. Uh, I find it easier to stutter in Scramble because you're always at skip sandwich speed. And we're seeing the whole master here. Who does whole have master a shield. Number three. <laughs> all right, so Panther thinking, all right, I got this, I got this, I got this. Oh, and we're seeing Gorge take a death. Meow, 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 all right, Charles through with number three, and we will see him move on to Milky Well. And so this will uh, put, if Panther's taken the same way, they'll both be like neck and neck, but Panther will be behind by one sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and Panther got hit by that trash can who wants the tender crap. Not the extra stinky goes. And Mr. Strucker says, that mole was playing rough. Oh, and what I what did I just mention? We just got the PSI um, to PK check with fire. Well, what is the Y? Gamma? Is that what that is? So as you notice, Charging Charles know, hugged sorry. that uh, spring so that way he could uh, avoid the photo shoot. Yeah, I didn't want to get I, pickled I there. love teleport. I love teleporting and just bonking right into something. <laughs> You're trying to see how many bonks you can get at the end of the game. Look, I finally got it where the kids all brushed their teeth for once. Oh. That's one thing. I was happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that has never been um, a priority 
of mine in Scramble. It's a fun, it's a fun little thing, but... Oh, oh we got Pokey! Gross! Uh, we'll see, we'll see what Pokey has for us here. And Panther fighting that mole, who, uh, as Ness pointed out, was playing rough. And as, as uh, Panther named his kids, Chargles, please have mercy. Should be Mole have mercy on me, please. Mole have mercy. <laughs> Loose items have mercy. We saw so many duplicates, uh, not only in the loose items, but the teleports and such in this in the seed. All right, Charles still chipping away at heavily armed Pokey, and Panther also chipping away at this mole. Seeing the Teddy difference here, mm -hmm, yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, Panther taking a death there. That's going to be a, a gnarly time loss. Uh, Charles still fighting Pokey though, so we don't, we don't know. Did we see what sank this was? I didn't I didn't get a look. I did not see exactly a, a Charles uh, hit the button real fast. All of a sudden, the next thing I know, I saw it was Pokey. Mm -hmm, yeah. Fifth sink. Okay. Thank Good. you, Mad Cat. Thank you, Mad. Yeah, thank you, Mad Cat. All right. So I think Panther is going to go do Giant Stab. I think I'm going to get some experience here. Thank you, Girk. Thank you. Thank you, Mad Cat. <laughs> thank you both. Thank Appreciate you, Girk it. Girk family. What would we do without the Gurks? We'd never know anything that was going on. If only we had Rizu here. They're also amazing at like catching every single thing that has happened on screen. But I think Rizu is out of town right now and I miss them. Rizu, come back to us. We love you. It's like, it's like a game show. It's the fifth, it's the oh, fifth. <laughs> man, Charles still fighting this pokey. Ooh. You hate to see it. I mean, the thing is, is that with oh, yeah, we Pokey. did it! Yay. <laughs> you want you know another thing that I've pointed out with these PSI extended is that you don't get paralysis very often, and so there are quite a few um, major bosses that you can use paralysis on that's going to make it just a breeze to get through, and Pokey is one of those bosses. We do love our scramble friends. We're a community. All right, and that's going to be the fourth sink for Charles. Now he's got the magic camp. Let's go. All right, everybody. Who is Ness's nightmare going to be? Let's put our guesses in chat. Well, you know who mine is, right? It's who always are you the same. Saying? I'm always mini barf, no matter what. I am a mini barf stan, and I will be till the day I die. <laughs> I, I'm always Trovi and Sprout. Oh, that, that is, is what mean. I. Sprout. Okay, Sarah's saying Sprout. Yes. We already did we Captain Strong. We saw Captain Strong. Yes. Captain Strong was ever drag. It's Frank. Oh, it's a human fight seed. All right, Charles is gonna go pick up some more repels for that magic hint walk. Panther is uh, going through with Electro Spectre, a giant step, <laughs> throws him, so he's just waiting to get the moves in. <laughs> Mad cat. I'm sorry, you guys. I yell a lot. <laughs> I'm just a loud person. I apologize. Actually, I don't. Um, maybe a little. But I'm, I'm just loud. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I love Frank Fly. Although, See, he kind of Mad Cat, you creepers. got Frank. You got Frank. Last night when I played one after, I got mini barf. So it was hey. like, all right. <laughs> I was thinking maybe Kraken, Ness Rucker, but we're, I mean, we're going to find out very soon. All right, let's go Rat in the Sea and Trillion Sprout is the Nightmare. <laughs> mm, rat of the Sea. <laughs> Sounds like something you would have to buy in like the apocalypse instead of tuna. You have rat of the sea. <laughs> it's 
sorry. <laughs> That's where my mind went. I don't know. Been under a lot of stress, okay? <laughs> Both Starman, Mad, Mad Cat. Ooh, that's got to be tough. Ew, I would take Deluxe over uh, over Junior as the Nightmare. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> yes, Max. I got to draw that now. <laughs> yeah, sounds it's like It's not me. Chicken of the Sea, it's Rat of the Sea. <laughs> rat of the Sea. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's Barf of the Sea. Or, excuse me, Belch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Charles just taking, got that, caught. taking that Belch fight. Hard to get past those sometimes. You know, the one thing I've I've learned and I've done it uh, is using my Repel sandwiches there just to get the extra speed. For some odd reason, I like use it and I would get by it quickly when no, I have four that's things. in your mind, honey. That, that's, that's not how it works. I, I just feel like it. It's just like, <laughs> hey, boom. <laughs> You're like, I use this repel. I'm going to go faster. Ew, and it called a worm. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, Charles is through that bar fight, but his kids are sick. But he's got heal and beta to cure them. Yeah, exactly, Mad Cat. And Panther taking Fire Springs. And Charles is going to be sure not to catch another one of those fights. And it Ooh. is a rat! It is a rat of the sea! <laughs> it's a not rat. the rat of the sea, it's a rat nightmare. Well, it's a rat throne, <laughs> whatever. Rat king. Not a very nice enemy to see in Nightmare Spot. <laughs> rat of the sea! <laughs> Almost as good as Cornbone, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so Panther got that sanctuary done. He's going back to uh, yeah. Belchu base. That's right, and that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be his. That's gonna be his fourth sank when he gets to Milky Well. And yes, Charles is through the Rat of the Sea fight. GG Charles. That means he will be moving on to the next round. And I will pull him into chat in just a moment. Give me one second. I'll give you a second. Oh, he's already here. Hey, Charles. Good job. There. Well, thoughts, comments, questions? That was a very that was a very spooky pokey fight. I figured I'd be out of logic when I went with the fly honey, but uh, I also didn't think that pokey would have that much health. Oh, so that it, that, uh, it lasted for so long. Yeah, I know the video I thought if I died, then that's also a massive time loss. Yes. It's not like I, I could go back and have a different strat for that fight, maybe using some some shields. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one of my people had a, a shield beta that could have helped. Right, but I yeah. Didn't, didn't, I didn't think it would be going on that long. Yeah, no, neither did I. Um, sometimes you see it, and you know, I was mentioning we don't always get paralysis, which is a an easy fight for Pokey. Um, what did you yeah, think about I, all the duplicates we were seeing in this seat? Well, it's kind of nice to a duplicate. When I get a, a loose one, I feel like, okay, I'm breaking logic somehow. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, when it comes up later on, maybe I haven't used it yet, I realize, okay, it's, it's still safe to go there and use that. Yeah. So, like, the meteorite piece, I got that right away when I got Saturn Valley. I thought, mm -hmm. hey, cool, I'll sequence break. But then Saturn Valley gave me, I think... It was Dark Lost Myth? Underworld. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, Lost Underworld. And then it was kind of like, okay... Um, then I got Tendekraut later from something that I knew was scale, and I thought, okay, then, then Lost Under is probably safe. You can also tell with this by just looking at the, the enemies there. Exactly, with progressive the, enemies, so. yes. Yeah. And yeah, the god I saw in the, the credits there, the, the Carbon Diamond Dodge fight, that was one that, thank god, I bought four bottle rockets beforehand. Just <laughs> yeah. kind of on a whim, I saw I had the cash and they were there. Which turned um, out to be useless, but always nice to have the experience. Yeah, that, that really put my, my kids at uh, an advantage early on. How about that mole fight at Belch's base? That one, um, you know, I wasn't wasn't too worried about that. I kind of, I mean, looking at the enemies there, they were moonside scaled, and so I thought, okay, it's probably, you know, Sank 5 or something. It's Sank 5 at that point. Um, it, it was it was all right. I mean, he only has single attacks, so. Right, but he does have that shield, and so if you, you know, either are running out of PP or say you didn't yep. have, you know, Paula or Pooh, then it's going to be a more difficult fight. A lot of times, you know, if you, if you had a big bottle rocket, some, you know, that'll take care of it, but 
I don't think we saw yeah, this. Jeff, uh, yeah, Jeff, it was fortunate that Jeff took the, the first hit and he had his bottle rocket going in anyway, so he could just deflect himself to death. The rest of my party was, you know, as you can tell, I didn't really do much shopping after the first five minutes, so, you know, every hit I got was oh. much worse than it should have been. Panther and with a every clutch heal and then a death. So where, is, where is he at? He is fighting that mole. Oh, did he get sucked into that logic too? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where, where else would you think you were supposed to go? Sank four was possibly. I mean, I got side the side banana. banana. Yeah. Probably go in the four side there. Um, I just didn't want to make that walk when I was halfway there. Yeah, um, but you still have to get it, past the mole to open up four side, right? Correct. Yeah. So yeah, mole was, was scaled. Everything was a little bit deep. Even like the plague rat had quite a bit of health. Usually the match mm -hmm. camp boss isn't that strong. Um, but yeah, that. Um, those fights were tough, and I think I had a couple of close heals for just vital party members yeah. during the mole fight, and for Absolutely. sure Pokey had and um, all, of, all of us at zero for something. And, did and we see a lot of um, revival items in this seed? I don't feel like we did. Not not as many even, as normal. I, I may have not even had a couple life noodles. Yeah, I think we saw a secret herb, uh, maybe, one, maybe one cup of life noodles. There really wasn't a lot of revival items in this seed. Which made it mm -hmm. difficult, you know, especially going into those harder, like later game fights that were scaled kind of high because of the logic, the way it took you. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, when that's the case, just, just don't die, I guess. <laughs> just get good. Um, and it looks just like we have, I believe, a forfeit, uh, forfeit on Panther's side. Um, we'll see if Panther wants to come in and chat with us. Uh, let me see. Let me ping him. He may have broken his controller on that mole fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he get a soft lock? I don't know nah, anything about nah, that. He, I'm just nah, kidding. Tough, tough, tough battle. Usually when he has those tough battles, it, he wrote a meme because he had Tony had said, why did I even do that? Like against the mole, I'm taking yeah, it. Yeah, and I think Panther might pass on the um, after race commentary, which is completely fine. Always an option. That being said, let me tell y'all what we have coming up so tomorrow we have uh, who do we have tomorrow i believe it's andy versus javanator yes that is who we have tomorrow that's going to be at about that'll be at 9 p.m central tomorrow andy versus Jav. that'll be a really fun match you're not going to want to miss that um, and then Thursday, I will be racing Tolmar for the, I think it's the first round of the third bracket. So Tolmar and I will be racing on Thursday. That'll be 7 p.m. Central. And As then we got for our next ra for our next opponent for Charging Charles, we got McGurk. And Panther will be taking on Crimson Green whenever they set up their times. We will keep everybody posted. Yes, we I will. want you, Gurk. I know you're watching. You must avenge me, Chargles. <laughs> yeah. I'm on. I'm just on the the revenge tour, 2022. <laughs> if it's not you, it's gonna be Andy. So it's okay. I'm covered. Um, but thank you everyone for coming in. Thank you, racers, for racing. Of course. Once again, thank you everyone for all the hard work we've put in. Oh. Um, if you are not in the Earthbound speedruns Discord, get in there. If you haven't played PK Scramble yet, go download a seed and get to it. And I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Thank you for commentating with me, Eagles. Thank you for racing, Thank you. Charles. It's a pleasure. Oh, Charles is gone. All right. Well, with that being said, we're going to raid Peen Train. She is amazing doing some uh, let's see glitchless so that was some vanilla earthbound for y'all who maybe haven't seen that but have a wonderful night without further ado goodbye take it easy everybody